all sport is like a game of poker, isn't it? And sometimes you've got to mislead the opponents. Yeah, you sometimes have to do that. And, uh, you know, having a, you know, a little white lie here or there, it's OK. You know, like, I, I, I lie, maybe I do small lies, you know, nothing like a did big you, lie. Did you do it in sport? I mean, would you sort of, uh, I don't know, in the field of play, would you sort of say, oh, it looks like it's going to rain now or the ball's a bit hard today or something like that? Yeah, like sometimes... Mind if, games. Yeah, if I don't get a wicket, then I'll try and say to the umpire, oh, this ball, you know, it's ir irregular in shape, it's not a circle, can you, you know, have a, have a look at it or can we get a new ball or something like that? Hmm. So, uh, you know, things like that, you know, everyone plays little mind games and, and particularly if, I, if I'm smelling really good and people say to me, oh, what aftershave is that? Yeah. I would probably lie because I normally, you know, I think I prefer, you know, female aftershave uh, perfumes because it smell better. Is that and right? I, and I end up just saying, mm -hmm. oh, it's Christian Ronaldo. So what are you wearing tonight? <laughs> Dior, Chanel? <laughs> well, Mine boggles. <laughs> I think it's lovely. Yeah, it's, it's, there you go, it's Dior. <laughs> well, let me tell you that I'm absolutely <laughs> coated from head to tail in Lynx Africa, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I'm constantly surrounded by members of the opposite sex. <laughs> um, and, and what about diving in sport and things like that? Because some people think that's dishonest in football, you know, where the player goes down, they've barely been touched. Yeah, like, you know, you've got you to be, like, reasonable, you know, when, you, when you're trying to bend the rules and trying to get a penalty. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure, you know, that's, the managers always, you know, sort of mm -hmm. tells the players, you know, this, you know if, if you can't get a goal, go and dive. And, uh, yeah, you know, you've gotta, it's got to be reasonable because if you kind of, like, sort of take the mickey, then I suppose um, even fans, you know, people who are watching, mm. they want to see quality sport, you know, they don't want to see sort of people just, you know, diving for no reason. Well, it is values, though, isn't it? Because some players in the Premier League will dive very enthusiastically and others won't. It's just a kind of moral code to which they adhere. Yeah, there is. You know, we've seen many sports people who, like, um, you know, if they, if they, hit, if they edge the edge the ball they'll just walk without the umpire's decision being yeah, made yeah. you know and yeah and in particular Adam Gilchrist mm. would you know he did that I remember when I played again at, at Perth um my Ashes debut I bowled I think my second ball and and he kind of I wasn't too sure if he hit 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 it with his bat and it just came off his pad and and he walked off you know bat pad caught one and he mind. might have got away with it yeah, possibly if there was DRS there, you know, um, it, it, you, and, and hotspot, you know, may, maybe, you know, he didn't hit it. But mm. I think generally, uh, you know, every sports person in the, each sport, you know, they have a reputation where, you know, some people are not great divers, other people just walk, you know. Um, I didn't, myself, it didn't really matter, you know. I wasn't yeah. a great batsman, so <laughs> I probably would have got out the next ball anyway.